Lichtenstein. It is Lichtenstein. I used to always think driving through the con FL stood for fast lorries. Well, you never know, do you? Which animal has varieties called Bactrian and Dromedary? <coughs> Kevin. Camel. It is the camel they drummed it into me at school as well. The Roman Catholic Archbishop of Westminster since 1976, Maggie. Basil Hume. Absolutely right, it's Cardinal Basil Hume. <laughs> nice to hear from you, Maggie, up to 30. What material is most commonly subjected to a process called vulcanization? <laughs> Kevin? Rubber. Rubber's right. Goes around the edges of the car doors, doesn't it? Let's the water in. Which European country was the site of the Allied landing at Anzio in World War II? Maggie. Italy. It was Italy, 35. What is the largest of all the species of whale? <laughs> Kevin. The blue whale. Gosh, you know such a lot, champ. You're absolutely right. Yes. <laughs> Hot. I hear a little bell. Time for the gift shop. Guess who's going to do the buying? The champ is. He's on 65, 30 ahead. Kevin, here's Maria to tempt you. Kevin, try your talent for drawing with the selection of 72 artist pencils. A wooden box of watercolour pencils and two sketch pads will do our best to give you some artistic ability. Normally £95, it's only eight from Derwent and Sale of the Century. £95 Let's have a look. Oh, that is, is absolutely superb, Andrew. Beautiful shot of your <laughs> thumb there. £95 for £8 pounds you're not buying. This is quite nice because... Come on, you're, you're a man. My, my drawing talent is absolutely non-existent. Well, here's your chance to improve, for heaven's <laughs> sake. £95 for £8 once. £95 for £8 twice. Oh, it's yeah. £8 and it's yours. Thank you, yeah. Trump. Thank you. That's a good buy. <laughs> you see, ever so silly not to buy at those prices. That was a good buy, down to £57. Still got a handsome lead. According to legend, what farmyard animal did the witch Circe turn Odysseus's companions <laughs> Kevin? Swine or pigs? Pigs or swine, that's what you turned it into. <laughs> Beginning with J, which space age cartoon family consists of George, Jane, Judy, Tony? Jetsons. It is the Jetsons, Elroy and Astro. I see you, you? <laughs> Which country's navy launched a frigate called Constitution, nicknamed Old Ironsides? Kevin? USA. Yep, absolutely right. Know a lot. Wouldn't like to give me the date as well, would you? Really? 1798? So close, 1797. You know such a lot, Trump. Oh. Yeah. I think you should be over here doing the questions as well. With which branch of literature do you primarily associate Philip Larkin? <laughs> Kevin. Poetry. Absolutely right. Good poet as well. Got one of his books. Also known as the La Bay, on which continent does the Elbe River flow? <laughs> Kevin. Europe. Yes, simple as that. You look <laughs> stunned there for a moment. Quite simple, really. OK, second Fame Game question coming up and on the prize board now. Another bonus even as I speak. £15 bonus is there. Pick again, of course, and now a 20... Now a 15... 10 and a £15 bonus there. I'll get it right. Giving away so much money. Don't know where my money in my mouth is. OK, 10 and £15 bonus is there. Look at Tony's score and you realise he could do with some money. Tony, you're on £30. Ahead of you by five is Maggie on 35 In the lead, Kevin, on 77 What's my name? I am an island in Upper New York Bay, southwest of Manhattan, New York City. <laughs> Maggie. Long Island. No, you're locked out of it, Maggie. Tony, Kevin, between you two. In 1808, I was sold to the federal government for $10,000 and used as a fort and powder magazine. I served as a major immigration station from 1892 to 1943. Kevin. Ellis Island. Yes, indeed, chap. That was nicely thought out. <laughs> and, of course, it gets you the pick of the prize board with those two bonuses, 10 and 15 pound bonuses there. Number one. Number one. All right, up in the corner. And a bonus for the trap. <laughs> well, and then there was one little bonus left on the board. Another one coming up shortly. Champ, your score's gone up to 87 with that bonus. Let's press on with the game itself. Maggie and Tony, it is the quickness of the buzzer that does it. Just keep pressing. What shape is the base of a pyramid? <laughs> Tony. Triangle. No, it, it's a square. When you think about it, it's a square base and it goes up to a point. Four sides. In the Christian calendar, what day immediately follows Shrove Tuesday? <laughs> Kevin. Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday's right, champ. Five more. During the First World War, was the Battle of Jutland fought on land at sea? <laughs> Tony. Sea. At sea, it certainly was. Yes. <laughs> Your little lights flashed on at the moment there, Maggie. Just testing, were you? What nationality was the composer Franz Schubert? <laughs> Kevin. Austrian. He was Austrian, champ. Yes. And Bell for our final gift shop means that the champ is going to do the buying once again on £97. It's a good lead champ. You'd like to buy this, Kevin? 
For elegant lighting in an elegant surrounding, we are offering this pair of five light Georgian candelabra, so you could introduce a touch of glamour with this prize. Normally priced at £150, it's yours for only 11 from Thomas Blakemore and Sale of the Century. Very, very flash surroundings, if I may say, yes, sir. Rather you shall go to the ball, so cinders. <laughs> £150 for 11 pounds. Champ, you can afford this, you know. Mm. You realise that, don't you? Yes. OK, yes. quietly confident. Give it to you for £11 pounds, then, once. Okay. Oh, we've got a sale. Thank you, Kevin. I'm absolutely exhausted walking over there. I don't know why I bother. He's buying everything in sight now. Your score's gone down to £86. Still a good lead, though. Maggie, let me remind you, you're on 35. Tony, you're on 30. According to the saying, to be satisfied with past achievements and not to strive for further ones is to rest on one's what? <coughs> Kevin? Laurels. I'm glad you said laurels. Family show. Absolutely right. 91. In mathematics, what name is given to a number that can only be divided by itself and one? Maggie? A prime number. It's a prime number, yes. Up to 40 with that one, Maggie. Which musical by Sondheim and Bernstein features the numbers Maria and America? Kevin. West Side Story. West Side Story, absolutely right. Could have been singing about our Maria, couldn't they? OK, final fame game question coming up. One £10 bonus is gone. There is a 15 there. There is a £25 bonus there and a lot of other goodies as well. The scoring, well, it looks like this. Tony's got 30. Maggie's got 40. Good lead for the champ. He's 56 ahead. He's on £96. This is a chance for Maggie and Tony to pick a bonus and catch up. Who am I? I was born Marjorie Robertson in 1904. I began my career as a chorus girl, but rose to star in many 30s musicals. I went through a long period playing historical heroines and made a number of post-war comedy romances with Michael Wilding. <laughs> Kevin. And an eagle. Yes, good one, champ. Yes. <laughs> wow, you know such a lot, champ. The pick of the board is all yours. Number eight. Please. Number eight, all right. There's no end to the powers of the champ. Simple choice, as you well yes, know from before. Very simple, yes. You can take £100 cash or you can pick again if you're looking for another bonus. No, I'll stick with £100. I thought you might say that. Take the cash. <laughs> Maria, what about the money? Where are the, where are the two bonuses? With the £15 behind number two and the £25 behind number five. Okay, oh, Money was there all along. We tell no fibs here on Sale of the Century, and I tell you no fib now. It's time for our final round. It's our speed round. Folks, it's you against me and against the clock, of course. Let me remind you of the scoring position. Tony, £30. Maggie, turn ahead on £40. 56 in the lead. Kevin, on £96. You know where you stand? Let's put 60 seconds on that clock. There's the time. Good luck to all of you. Can't stress that enough. The time for you starts... Now, facing forward, what side of the ship is starboard? Kevin? The right side. Correct. What colour is primarily associated with primrose? Kevin? Yellow. Correct. How many signs of the zodiac are there? Maggie? Twelve. Yes. From which film did Daniel Day-Lewis and Brenda Flicker win? Kevin? My left foot. Yes. KLM is an airline of which Benelux country? Kevin? Netherlands. Correct. Whose body of water in West Jordan supports no life? Tony? Dead Sea. Dead Sea's right. The author of the best-selling books, The Shining and Carrie, is Stephen who? Maggie? Stephen King. Correct. What type of creature is a ray? Maggie? Fish. Correct. What is 10% of 200? Tony? 20. Yes. Name the TV programme of Facts and Feats, presented by Roy Castle and Cheryl Baker. Kevin? Record break. Correct. Who was the Roman god of war? Kevin? Mars. Yes. Which Asian nation was home to warriors called samurai? Kevin? Japan. Correct. Pleurisy is a disease which mainly affects... Kevin? The lungs. Correct. The author of Das Kapital was Carl who? Kevin? Marx. Correct. The Willie Russell play made into a hit film that Julie Walters was educating who? Kevin? Reza. Correct. Before becoming to the throne, which... That's it, the time is up. Champ, you've done it. 114 pounds. Terrific win of this for the chapter, another very big score indeed, 146 pounds. That is absolutely terrific stuff from you, Kevin. Maggie, you were trying hard at the end. Maggie, you ended up on 55 pounds. Thank you. Tony, you ended up on 40 pounds. And thank you very much indeed for playing. I hope that Maria's got something nice for you to take away. Have you, Maria? Well, I have, yes. Tony and Maggie, you were up against a very tough champ there, but you both take, with our compliments, the beautifully illustrated Times Concise Atlas of the World. Thank you very much for playing. Thank you. Yes, our thanks to Tony and of course our thanks to Maggie, but Kevin's done it again. To the champ, all i got to say is, come on, Kevin, we're going shopping after this.